Hey, peachers, I am back. Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, first of all, excuse my lace because it's definitely coming up in this picture, but my hair's still cute though. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I decided to do on Valentine's Day. Mine is my wig. I actually woke up in really great spirits, as you can see. I was high, I was vibrant, I was getting into my worship music, and I just, I don't know, I felt very alive for Valentine's Day. I decided to go out with my best friend and we went to a restaurant called Maple Street Biscuit Company for breakfast. And this is my toxic drink, okay? This is Powerade mixed with Sprite. I don't normally drink soda, but today, just for the sake of it, I was like, eh, I'm gonna do it. And it's good. Yes, you should try it. So the meal that I chose was on the right. My friend's meal was on the left. So I went ahead and went with a classic waffle, plain waffle with some vanilla syrup. Because you know I like my things plain, you know what I'm saying? And my friend on the left, she went with a biscuit French toast, which was paired with strawberries topped with whipped cream. And then it also had a caramel glaze on it. I also decided to get a side of grits top with some cheddar cheese and on the other side you can't really see it but it's a scrambled egg white okay so i've been liking doing this little silent asmr i feel like i need to extend my videos a little bit and show you guys a little bit more of the live content of what's actually happening and as y'all can see i was in love with that waffle cake it was soft on the inside it was a little crunchy and crispy on the outside and i mean paired with the uh, scrambled egg white it was just it was popping. Like I was definitely feeling it. So the more I got into it, the more I enjoyed it. And honestly, I would say 10 out of 10. I'm not a super fanatic of waffles. I'm more of a pancake girl, but this thing was fire. Look at that. Just greedy, but it was fire. Like it was so good. I be in heaven. When I have a good meal, and it tastes really nice, like it really sends me. I promise you. This me looking at my friend's food. Because her food looked real good. And I'm like, you know, I'm normally a plain person. But I was like, let me go ahead and try what you got going on. So I tried her biscuit French toast. And I was like, wait. That's what they doing over here? Like, that's the type of things that they're doing in this restaurant? That was such a nice and different take on French toast. It was like a more savory French toast because it was a biscuit. You know, French toast is normally bread. But this was biscuit French toast. It's like whatever they had, the biscuit sopped up and it was just, oh my God, just, oh my God. I'm just remembering, okay? I'm reminiscing. And as I'm looking at myself eat, y'all, I just had no cares in the world. I wasn't using no manners. I was just talking with food in my mouth. Like, so don't mind me. Don't judge me, y'all. But I was truly enjoying my Valentine's Day. She didn't really like it too much. This was me trying to encourage her because I liked it. But at the same time, I was just like, even though you don't like yours, I like mine. So you can't have none of mine. But if you want to go back and go ahead and get yours switched. That was kind of pretty much the conversation that I was having there. Okay. Then they gave us this biscuit. Um, It was shaped like a heart. And it was a cinnamon biscuit. And it had like, I guess, a little sugar glaze on it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just give this a shot and see what's happening here. This is me giving it a shot. As you can see by the expressions on my face, it was cool. But again, I'm not like, I'm not like a liar. You feel me? Like it was a very dense and it was kind of sweet, but it wasn't bad. That's all I have to say about that. Okay. Wasn't bad, but just really sweet. So now here's me being very childish and I need y'all to just bear with me because I don't know if I'm the only person who does stuff like this, but I just couldn't let the cheese just sit at the top. I feel like everything needs to be together because if I'm really going to enjoy these grits, the cheese got to be mixed in. I can't just like eat from the bottom. So I don't know why I'm like this, y'all, but it had to be mixed. And then I was just so annoying. I wanted to see the cheese pulling inside of it. Like it made it look more. App wow. Okay. It made it look more appetizing to me. So I was just like, let me just do this. And then, and I'm sorry, girl, I, guys, I did that like a whole bunch of times. So I just was amazed at how creamy it was. And then I finally tried it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. 
I love grits, but this version of grits was so heavenly and so creamy. I'm not going to lie to you. After maybe like three or four spoons, I actually couldn't even touch it anymore because it was rich. Come to find out, they either put cream cheese or heavy cream in it. Y'all, I ain't even know about that. Maybe I'm left out or something, but I honestly cook my grits with water and butter. I don't really do so much of that addition. Look at me making a mess. Just childish, y'all. Oh, my God. Like, I need help. And this is the point where I realized I need to stop filming. I don't know why I look pregnant in my videos, but I had to throw this disclaimer in there. This is how I look. I am not pregnant. It just makes me look fat. Okay, I just had to throw that in. Bye. Anywho, on my way home, I was actually greeted with some wonderful, wonderful news. There was something that I had been praying about. And when I say God just wowed me, like he wowed me because I didn't anticipate that what I was praying for could actually happen. And then it happened sooner than I expected it to happen. And I was like, okay, God, I see you. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those like, I see you, cuz. I see you. All right, God, forgive me for calling you, cuz. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there are certain things that happen that just... By God, he just wows you. And on that note, that was my Valentine's Day. And y'all know how I roll. I'm going to end with a prayer for love today. And this is by you version. God, remind me that love is always near because you are never far. When I feel unworthy of love, remind me that you have made me worthy. And when I feel incapable of showing love, help me to remember what you sacrificed for me. Remind me of how loved I am so I can remind others of how loved they are. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you didn't have a Valentine this past Valentine's Day, that's all right. Go ahead and make reservations for next year because the Lord Jesus could always be your Valentine. Bye, Peachers.